Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, a formidable marvel of military aviation, emerged from a rich lineage of cargo aircraft. Proudly carrying forward the legacy of its predecessors, Douglas C-74 Globemaster and Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. Born from the vision of the 1970s YC-15 prototype airlifter, the C-17 represents the pinnacle of design and engineering. With its sweeping wings, augmented size, and formidable engines, the C-17 transformed from concept to reality. Albeit after grappling with an array of design challenges that incurred substantial costs. Yet, Perseverance prevailed, and on the 15th of September, 1991, the maiden flight of the C-17 marked a historic milestone, eventually leading to its formal induction into the United States Air Force on the 17th of January, 1995. Boeing, in union with McDonnell Douglas, continued the production legacy for nearly two decades culminating in the assembly of the final C-17 at the Long Beach, California plant, taking flight on the 29th of November, 2015. This is the story of the C-17 Globemaster III, a testament to American ingenuity and dedication in the realm of military cargo aircraft. The C-17's staggering dimensions are a testament to its engineering prowess, with an overall length of 174 feet, a towering height of 55 feet 1 inch, and a wingspan that spans a colossal 169 feet 9 inches. Its wings encompass an expansive 3,800 square feet of space, providing the necessary lift for its remarkable missions. The C-17 boasts a maximum takeoff weight of a jaw-dropping 585,000 pounds and cruises through the skies at a nimble 450 knots when flying at 28,000 feet. Its impressive range, even while carrying a substantial 100,000 pound payload, stretches over 4,500 nautical miles. Scaling the heavens, C-17 reaches a service ceiling of 45,000 feet enabling it to conquer formidable challenges with ease. When it comes to payload capacity, C-17 can shoulder up to 169,000 pounds under a 2.5G load factor, a true testament to its strength and resilience. The manufacturing of C-17 is a complex and intricate process that begins with meticulous construction of its wings. These wings serve as the aircraft's lifeline, providing it with lift and stability it needs to perform its missions with grace and precision. The fuselage, 
an integral part of C-17's structure, is integrated into sections with utmost precision, ensuring that every component aligns seamlessly with the wing structure, creating a harmonious whole. Powering this magnificent aircraft are four formidable Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW-100 turbofan engines, each producing a staggering 40,400 pounds of thrust. These power plants not only propel C-17 through the skies, but also endow it with the capability of engine reverse thrust a crucial feature for controlled landings and rapid deceleration. The C-17 Globemaster III, a marvel of modern engineering, owes its awe-inspiring capabilities to the synergy of its design, manufacturing precision, and powerful propulsion. As awe-inspiring as the C-17 Globemaster III's capabilities are, its missions sometimes take it to places where traditional runways simply don't exist. In these extraordinary situations, where the need arises to create an airstrip from the very ground beneath, C-17's versatility truly shines. These remarkable efforts involve transforming sandy terrain into a rugged and dependable landing surface a process that necessitates the strategic use of water trucks to bind sand particles, rendering it firm enough to accommodate the mighty aircraft. This innovative approach to airstrip preparation showcases the adaptability and resourcefulness of both the aircraft and its dedicated crews. With the groundwork laid on the transformed sand strip, the next stage is equally crucial. C-17 Globemaster III's landing and takeoff process. The GPS coordinates. The crew is entrusted with two critical coordinates, marking the designated starting and ending points of the makeshift airstrip. These markers are navigational beacons that guide the aircraft to its intended path. The landing operation commences and the C-17 touches down on the prepared surface, demonstrating the aircraft's incredible versatility and adaptability in unconventional environments. After a successful landing, the aircraft's powerful engines roar to life once more as it prepares for takeoff. As part of this intricate ballet of operations, the airstrip's marking balloons which served as essential visual aids for landing, are removed. This meticulous process ensures that these markers can be reused for future operations, optimizing the efficiency and resourcefulness of C-17 and its dedicated crew.
venturing into the realms of extreme cold. Places like Phoenix Airfield in Antarctica present an entirely different set of challenges when landing and operating colossal cargo aircraft. In such unforgiving environments, where cold bites and conventional methods may falter, adaptability becomes paramount. While other cargo aircrafts, like the C-130, often rely on jet-assisted takeoff, JADO systems to provide the initial thrust needed to conquer challenging conditions, the C-17 Globemaster III stands as a testament to engineering excellence. Its formidable engines possess the sheer power required to navigate these icy runways without the need for additional auxiliary JADO systems. In the realm of military operations, fuel logistics take on a critical role, especially in scenarios where swift, strategic maneuvers are essential. One such innovation system that plays a pivotal part in this context is the Aerial Bulk Fuel Delivery System, ABFDS. This system is designed to facilitate rapid transportation of fuel to locations in proximity to or even behind enemy lines. Traditionally, ABFDS finds its home on C-130 aircraft, but its adaptability extends to other giants of the sky like C-17 Globemaster. While its primary function revolves around delivering bulk fuel to bladders in contingency locations, it has also become a vital player in hot pit refueling operations. This enhancement aligns seamlessly with the ACE concept which envisions agile operations to generate resilient air power in contested environments. ABFDS configuration comprises two substantial 3,000-gallon aerial bladder tanks paired with two pumping modules, a meter, and a network of hoses. Its impressive capability allows it to deliver a remarkable 600 gallons per minute with a single pump, doubling to a staggering 1,200 gallons per minute with both pumps in action. Further augmenting the C-17 Globemaster III's versatile repertoire is the C-17A Globemaster Fuel Drop Mission. In this specialized operation, fuel takes to the skies in an entirely different manner. Dropped from above using precision airdrops. This multifaceted approach to fuel logistics underscores the adaptability and innovation that the C-17 brings to the forefront ensuring that fuel remains readily available wherever it's needed most, even in the most challenging of scenarios. In a testament to its versatility, the C-17 Globemaster III showcases its adaptability in various mission profiles, from facilitating rapid transportation of fuel with the Aerial Bulk Fuel Delivery System, ABFDS, to executing complex maritime deployments 
like the U.S. Air Force's Maritime Craft Aerial Deployment System, MCATS. With precision and efficiency, the C-17 becomes a lifeline for marine units, seamlessly deploying them into vast expanses of deep blue ocean along with necessary supplies and boats, while also serving as a crucial asset in agile combat environments through its ABFDS capabilities. This multifaceted aircraft stands as a symbol of ingenuity and capability in the realm of military aviation. Pushing the boundaries of what's achievable, the C-17 Globemaster III recently made history with a record-breaking drop in collaboration with NASA. This monumental achievement involved the release of an 85,000-pound jumbo drop test vehicle, JDTV, from the aircraft's cargo hold. Before this remarkable feat, the team had already achieved significant milestones by successfully executing drops at 60,000, 70,000, and 77,000 pounds. The JDTV test records now stand as a testament to the precision and capabilities of both C-17 and collaborative efforts with NASA, marking a remarkable leap forward in aeronautical research and development. The C-17 Globemaster III stands not only as a symbol of American engineering excellence, but also as a testament to human innovation and adaptability. From its rich history and manufacturing precision to its remarkable feats in challenging environments, this aircraft has continuously demonstrated its unwavering commitment to mission success. Whether it's executing complex aerial fuel deliveries, maritime deployments, or record-breaking cargo drops in collaboration with NASA, the C-17's capabilities are nothing short of extraordinary. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.